Hi everyone, my name is Rohan Alexander, I'm an assistant professor at the University of Toronto. I've got a cross appointment in the Faculty of Information and the Department of Statistical Sciences. Welcome to surveys, sampling and observational data. Uh, so I am teaching one of the sections. Professor Caetano is, prof is, is teaching two sections. Uh, the sections will be run very much in parallel. We are going to cover this very similar material. We are going to cover have very similar assessments. Uh, but ultimately, uh, you are enrolled in this uh, section, so I would encourage you to make sure that you keep up to date with this section's uh, material. That said, if you've got friends uh, in Sam's sections, then you should certainly take advantage of the materials that she is putting up. They will be extremely complimentary. I just wanted to touch a little bit on, on the course and the assessment, and that way hopefully we have a little bit more time for interaction and things like that on Thursday. So we're gonna have four problem sets. These will address different aspects of the learning. The first of these will be due in about two or three weeks. And then roughly every two or three weeks after that, there is a, an exam, a test, uh, that will occur during class um, in around about weeks uh, 10 or 11. It's just after we come back from the break. And then there will be a final report, uh, which will be due during, during the exam block. So no big final exam, just a whole lot of small assessment um, to sink your teeth into and hopefully, hopefully get a bit excited about. We do have the US election during this course. Uh, so we'd be expecting that uh, in November. So a lot of the course is structured around that because I mean, there's really no other time when people are as focused on survey samples and observational data. Uh, most of us are probably refreshing 538 and all the rest of it um, fairly often. And of course, what underpins all of that work is, 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 is exactly the stuff that we're going to be covering in this, in this course. Uh, so each week I will try to pre-record some material and we'll have a little bit of live material, um, the exact the exact weighting of each of those will differ um, depending on what the topic is. Some of them are more amenable to videos than, than others. Uh, we'll do a bit of work with, with Sam sections as well. And, and yeah, there's uh, three TAs for this course. The TAs will run a lab, so these labs will be 11 to noon on Thursday. So the, the lecture time, as it were, is 9 to 11 on Thursdays. And then we have labs um, 11 till noon. Um, after that, we've got a couple of hours of um, office hours. And so if you'd like to organize a time to chat, then I would love that. That would be fantastic. And you can just, um, just book some time. And there's a link in the course syllabus. The TAs will make themselves available for office hours as well for the hour immediately following the lab. So you can get a couple of different perspectives and that's very much uh, something that I think is very much important. There's no one set textbook. I, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, um, but I am Australian. The tradition that we are sort of brought up in is that it, it's very much a mix of of what you want to do. So there's no one textbook, there's no one set prescription of what you have to learn. It's very much up to you, your own interests, and and your own background. So I know that there's some people that have very strong statistics backgrounds that are coming in, and I hope to be able to provide you with some material that challenges and extends you. But I know similarly there's going to be some people that perhaps this is only their second statistics course. Um, 
And so equally, I hope that you're able to get something out of the course as well. So depending on your background and your interests, you really need to try and pick materials that are appropriate to that. And so every week I will provide a, a large list of readings that that you can pick and choose from depending on what you're interested in. So for instance, in a couple of the weeks, um, there's an option to use Bayesian or classical settings. And so those of you who are super interested in statistics might like to explore some of the if you've not got a Bayesian background, you might like to explore some of this material in a Bayesian way. Um, those of you who maybe don't have much of a statistics background may like to just stick with what you've, what your 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 training to this point has provided you with. I'll just have a quick flick through the outline and see discussion forums, office hours. Communication, uh, so we'll run a sort of Quercus Piazza sort of discussion board um, through the through Quercus. Uh, so probably best bet is to to um, to post some post and answer questions on there. Uh, but of course, if you have concerns of a personal matter, then you should absolutely um, just get in touch with me. You don't need to. I, I'm, I'm certainly not. Uh, you certainly don't need to justify your personal issues. Just say that you've got a personal issue, and, and that's that's fine. <laughs> uh, late policy. Uh, so try not to be late. Uh, but if you are, then we're just going to take away ten percentage points every day that you are late. And if it's more than a week, then we'll probably just um, probably just time to let it go. Uh, there are, of course, various accommodations that apply in the case of illness or personal emergency. Uh, and so, um, if that happens, then just get in touch with me and, and, and those accommodations can apply. If you're going to miss more than two of the assessment items, uh, then you, you, your registrar through your college and me probably need to have a chat and it would be good if that could occur earlier rather than later. Uh, just because it becomes unfair to the other students uh, in the course, so so if you're in that situation, let's try and let's try and discuss that earlier. Uh, regrading, um, writing, right? Okay, so writing this this comes up every time. Writing is what we are in the business of doing. Um, we we need to learn something about the world and then we need to communicate our learnings with the rest of the world. The way that we're going to do that is through through writing. Okay. Papers need to be well written. You need to have a introduction, an abstract, an intro, um, a, a title, put your name on things. The points need to be well organized. There needs to be no grammatical issues or spelling issues. Um, writing is a key part of this course and you should really spend some time on it. Uh, if you have concerns, the university has support for you and so you should definitely take advantage of some of those resources. Uh, at other universities, I have taken advantage of some of those resources and they're always wonderful and always very helpful and so I would certainly recommend that. We are in the middle of a pan Demic, you may not realize this, <laughs> uh, but this term will be hard. Uh, it will also be hard for everyone that surrounds you. So the the staff, the faculty, the TAs, uh, the other students in your course, there are aspects of group work in this course. Um, and so it will be difficult for your group members. Uh, nonetheless, I think that Sam and I are planning a course that if you approach it in good faith, and some flexibility, uh, I think you really have the opportunity to do the best work of your life. I, th I think that this is a really exciting course and just a wonderful subject material. And, and so let's really, let's really go out there and, and attack it and make the best of it. And hopefully we can come to December and all have had created some, some special, some special work. Uh, some of the problem sets will be in groups, uh, and so if you, I understand that we are in a, we are in a pandemic, 
And so forming groups may be a little bit more difficult than usual. Um, so if you're having issues with forming groups, then I will form them for you uh, around about two weeks before the group assessment items are done. But everyone in the group will get the same mark. So if one of your group members doesn't contribute, then it, they're going to get the same mark as you. If you have a group of one, then that is going to get the same mark as, and marked in the exact same way as a group of four. Um, so it's very much up to you to do what works for you. Each of the assessment items are fairly small, so um, so somewhere between sort of a few percentage points through to 20%. Uh, the exception being the final paper, of course, which is slightly more highly weighted, and so it's very much worth putting some effort into into all of it, but especially that one. There's a bunch of different core texts. Um, there's Gelman Hill and Vitari, uh, and so that's sort of if you've got less of a statistics background. Uh, Richard McElwraith, if you've got more of a statistics background. We've got a week on A-B testing, and so there is a textbook that is specifically all about A-B testing. That's the Kahavi textbook, and then finally there is Wu and Thompson, and this is where we're going to get all of the sampling uh, material from. Now, Wu and Thompson is extremely expensive, but through the libraries, uh, you can get a free copy legally. <laughs> And so you go to the library website, search for Springer, go to the link, and then search for the book, which is Wu and Thompson. The details are in the course outline. And so uh, then you can just download a, a PDF. So, so there's no need to spend hundreds of dollars on this textbook. Uh, you can just get it from the library legally. Uh, finally, please do not plagiarize. Um, it's, it's very... It just, it just shows a lack of respect for your fellow students, so please don't do that. If you have any concerns about plagiarism or your, your ability to not plagiarize, um, then again, the university has made a lot of resources available, and you should take advantage of some of those. So with that, uh, I think that might do us for this first introduction video. Um, thanks very much for the class. I hope that I can communicate just how excited I am about this course. It's going to be wonderful. And we just very much need to make the best of what is obviously not an ideal situation, uh, but very much looking forward to meeting all of you. Thanks, and see you later.